In this Python nice GUI tutorial, we will make an application using the checkbox element. After selecting the male or female checkbox object and pressing the button, the image and text are updated accordingly. Two checkbox objects cannot be selected at the same time. At least one option must be selected. In the video I will show step by step how to do the application. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, I create a checkbox object for mail. I save the code file and run it. You can go to this address using any browser. I created a web page with a mail checkbox object. I will create a checkbox object for female. I am saving the code file. The checkbox object I created for female was added to the web page. Now I create a label object. I am saving the code file. I added the label object to the web page. I want the label object to change appropriately when the checkbox object is clicked. I can do this using the onChange feature. I am sending the appropriate text to the setText function. I do the same operation in the female checkbox function. I am saving the code file. The text of the label object is changed according to the selected checkbox object. Now I add a button. I am saving the code file. I added the button to the website. I will call a function when the button is clicked. I can do this using the onClick feature. I define the function. I print the turtle code on the console screen with print. I am saving the code file. The function is called every time the button is clicked. Pay attention to the console screen. When I click on the button, I want the text property of the label object to be changed according to the selected checkbox object. First I need to define some constraints. For example, female and male checkbox objects cannot be selected at the same time. I can find out whether the checkbox object is selected or not by using the value function. I define the if query. If the values of both objects are true, I will specify this in the label object using the setText function. I am saving the code file. When I select both checkbox objects, a warning message is displayed. For now, I can delete the on change properties on checkbox objects. I will define one more constraint. One of the two checkbox objects must be selected. If both checkbox objects have the value false, I will issue a warning message. I am saving the code file. Both restrictions work the way I want. If the restrictions are violated, it means there is a problem with the program. I am defining a variable. If there is a problem, I set the x variable to 1. If the female checkbox object is selected and the x value is equal to 0, 
I specify this in the label object using the set text function. I define an if query in mail. I am saving the code file. I'm trying the if queries I defined. It all works as I want. I define an image object. I can change the size of the object using the classes function. I will use these images. You can download the images from the GitHub link in the description of the video. If the female checkbox object is selected, I will show the woman image. I edit the image using the set source function. If the male checkbox object is selected, I show the man image. I am saving the code file. It works as I want. However, if the violations I described before occur, I want the image not to appear on the screen. To do this, I can use the set visibility function. I set the visibility value to false in the if queries I define for violations. In other if queries, I set the visibility value to true. I am saving the code file. If violations occur, the image disappears. Other cases work as I want. In this video, we learned how to use the checkbox object. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.